Hello Libra. Welcome to your second half of April reading, the 16th through the 30th for 2018. This is a general reading. If this is your first time visiting, you're, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for all the returning viewers that I have and all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please look down below and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you, uh, it's, like I said, this is a general reading, which means it's for the collective of all Libras. That means not every single thing may ring true with you. Uh, I'll do my very best to tune in to everyone who's watching. If you hear me say something that does not suit you or, or fit you or ring true in your heart, leave it. It's for another Libra. That being said, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Look in the links below if you'd like a private reading. I'd be so happy to book a reading for you and tune into your personal energy and do a custom reading that's just solely for you and what's going on in your life. Okay, Libra. Got an end. Completion. Looking out and moving on. The sun looks <laughs> amazing. The lovers. This is your here and now energy. This is your relationships, personal, interpersonal, life, you know, family, things like that. This is your work, finance, and career section. Okay. And the fool. That is the underlying energy. The overriding energy for you right now is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a an ending to a chapter, a conclusion to a, a section of your life. This is a change, an, an ending, a removal of something. So that is... Endings are just as good as beginnings because the beginning is the next step after an ending. You've got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is you taking an assessment, looking around you, seeing what else is going on, maybe looking for something else to do. It may be something that you want to do in your private life. It may be something you want to do in your work life. But you're, you're definitely taking stock and looking to make a move. It could be a physical move. It could be just uh, finding something, a new, a new thing now that you're finished with this. And then comes the sun in to bring the light and something good and new. This is happiness. This is uh, healthy uh, growth. This is harmony and new. This is the beginning of all beginnings. This is the happiest, most positive card in the deck. Then you've got the lovers right after that. So you may end up with somebody new coming in to sweep you off your feet, which is fabulous because I'm a Libra and I would really love to be swept off my feet. Um, aside from that, it could be you finding your balance within your soul because this is an ascension. So you may be leveling up. So that could be the ending here for some of you. This is the ending of the old way. And this is the new enlightenment, the ascension to the next level, which is fabulous. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You got the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is spiritual gifts and spiritual uh, soul contracts with people that you've gone through lifetimes with that play different parts in each time in a you know different it could be totally different one could be mom and mom and child another could be or parent and child because you don't have to be a woman uh, it could be a man you switch roles you uh, could be lovers you could be friends you could be anything it, and you move around in each other's lives and help each other learn the lessons that we're here to learn and then we go back to the angelic realm at least that's my hope, and I believe in that. So, then you got the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a non-decision, a deliberate no choice. Um, sometimes we just stop and 
and live our life the way we're living it, trying to iron out all the kinks and not really worrying about what else is going on. You know, trying to just appreciate the fact that we have a choice. And not, you don't always have to move on something. Not choosing is also a choice. There you go. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is uh, branching out, is uh, bringing in something new. And it's literally bringing it from, he's literally smelting the pentacle. And it's coming from up in the air, which tells me that this is something you're manifesting. It's not fast moving either because it's a pentacle. Okay, you've got the world. The world is confidence and standing in the light of divinity. This is someone who is uh, finally feeling like they've got the hang of where they're supposed to be, who they're supposed to be, and what they're supposed to be doing. And, and it's feeling like they, they've got it down. Now you've got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups can be two things. It can be crying over spilled milk, which is, oh dear God, why is this happening to me? Or I have come to, to feel that this also can be, oh thank God, this is finally happening for me. So whichever way this goes for you, those are the two things I get off the card. So, you got the Page of Cups coming in with an offer. This is a genuine emotional um, conversation. Or not, uh, heartfelt, not really emotional, but a heartfelt conversation. So, this is the light of emotion and his heart. It's, he's holding it next to his heart. Now, this may be someone who also uh, is looking at you for a... A position or a job and they haven't said anything yet either so that can also happen these both these cards are cups and those mean those are relationships so this may be something to do with the way your co-workers view you that's that's for somebody out there okay so we've got the fool over here which is the avant-garde this is the uh take the devil may care attitude which is Take a chance. Live vicariously. Do something amazing. This is the new beginning to that ending. He looks like he's all out of control, but he is not. He is very much in control. And he has the entire zodiac in his in from juggling it from one hand to the other. Thank you, angels, archangels, spirit guides. And Divine Energy for allowing me to clarify this reading for Libra for the second half of April, the 16th through the 30th of 2018, to allow them to remain on their highest path. Okay. The crying over spilled milk. So, whatever this ending is, you may be a little remorseful about. So, let me just throw these out and then we'll talk. It doesn't mean anything bad. I just realized I was going to stall and start talking. And I was still going to have more cards to lay down. And I would rather have the cards down. Got the devil over here. I said it in an earlier reading. The devil is a lie. <laughs> so... You've got a little bit of regret over this ending. Maybe uh, just changing something, you know, changing habits or changing a pattern. It always feels a little awkward and maybe you miss some of the portions of the part that is going to go away. The Eight of Cups shows some of the cups knocked over, but the majority are still standing. you got three down and five up. Five is also the number for change. Then you have the Six of Pentacles, which is someone literally weighing and measuring what's owed to you. So you will get what has been set out for you or what's been left 
Maybe you walked and left these five cups. Somebody's here to go, hey, 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 these belong to you. Don't leave them. They're being kept for you. Okay, so what these two cards tell me is that the sun is the most positive, happy card you have. And you're second guessing going, oh my God, is good? this is good? too good to be true. I can't believe it. It's just something's, something's going to go wrong. Uh, these are all your thoughts. And this is a typical Libra thing to do. We are very headstrong. Everything that we do is so, uh, is all thought driven. Um, every, we are, we are always in our head. This is an unnecessary action and you're just driving yourself insane with it. Don't do it. Let it go. You're overthinking it. That's the simple version. Okay, you've got the Page of Cups on top of the Lovers. This is definitely an offer of love. That's what this is. Coming in to, to offer you his cup. You've got the Six of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles on top. So even though you've got all these gifts around you, you're, you're patiently waiting for this to come to fruition. You just can't wait for this, the fruit to ripen on the vine. It's still not ready, but man, you're just waiting. You're sitting there, you're guarding it, you're, you're living and breathing it just to get it to that point. The Hierophant. The Hierophant is a, an, a uh, belief in the status quo, the belief in societal theories. or uh, So somebody may believe that it's a sin not to be married and live together, things like that. These are traditional uh, religious beliefs. It can also be... An entity like a hospital or a large government office or building, you know, something like that. Uh, an organization, okay? So, I don't know what that means to somebody, but that's what the cards mean. And here you are manifesting. And somebody's telling you, oh, how can you believe in that? You can't even see it. You just keep doing what you do. You stand up for yourself. That's what you're doing in this. That's what he's doing in this picture on this card. He is standing up for his beliefs. Even though he can't see them, it requires faith. And he gets it. Here it comes. He's bringing it in. Don't let someone else poo-poo on your dream of you being able to bring something in that, that you know if you do it this way, it's going to come out. And it doesn't matter if they see it. This is your life. This is your dream. This is your vision. Don't let them talk you out of it. You're standing strong right here. Stand your ground. You've got the Queen of Rods on top of the world and in a work position. Rods are for work. This woman is very kind and loving. She is in peace and harmony at her, her position. And this shows her being the highest ranking in, in this particular area. So, you are very skilled at what you do. You're appreciated and you're confident in your work. Okay, we've got the lovers again. So, this may be a thank God. Remember I said it could be a, oh dear God help me, or a thank you God this finally has come. The lovers is harmony and peace. You've got the angel flying over them. Giving them protection. He's got his hands over them. You've got another angel here. So on top of this offer. You've got temperance. Which is literally the alchemy happening from the universe. Pulling down through the top of her crown. Is the light of divinity. She's pouring it through these cups. So that is alchemy. Making it trans transpose. She's. She's bringing it through the process here, through her self and pouring it from one cup and into another. So she's taking the divine energy of spirit and transmuting it into something to help you. B 
Be patient. It doesn't happen overnight. Okay, the devil is a change. It's also oppression, uh, self-doubt, and fear. Don't give up on being taking the chance, the adventure, doing, live your life. Don't live in fear. Don't live in fear of what someone else may think or what someone else feels. This is your life. Stand up for yourself. Don't let, don't let the devil, don't let the devil bring you down, Libra. We, we are very gregarious people. This is our personality. We are funny and witty and uh, this is what we do. Don't allow someone else's nasty uh, attitude, negative attitude, or, or someone's thoughts of fear because people like to tell you what all could go wrong. Uh, do what you do. Live your life. Be happy. You have the capability. So let the sun shine in, Libra. Blessings in abundance to you. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. You guys are awesome. My tribe is fabulous. Libras, we rock. Everyone rocks, but we rock good. <laughs> we rock the best. So I will be more than happy to book a reading with anybody who would like to contact me through the links below. And I will see you again in May. Thank you so, so, so much.